What is your nothing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania if you're new here. So today we're going to be playing with the new Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, lip liners, the Pout Spoken Collection. I don't love, love the name for some reason. I'm just like, it just sounds like Pout Spoken. Anyways, we're going to be playing with the lipsticks. I'm going to show you guys swatches without the lip liners. I'm going to do outside swatches, all that good stuff. Um, like just wear tests, all that, everything you would want to know. Because I'm, I know I can't be the only one being like, how bad are my lips going to look after this? Like, are we ready to go back here to liquid lipsticks? You know, that's the question. So please don't subscribe down below, hit that like button, and let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so here's the packaging it came in, which I don't have a problem because I don't, I don't think they're glass by any means. Um, so I didn't get a crazy amount of shades. I will wait till they come to Ulta and just kind of make sure that like, I want to go back into this phase. I used to love liquid lips because I think they were just everywhere and we just got like sucked into thinking that they were going to be amazing and they were not. Like unless you have a nice lip filler, like my lips, I live in Arizona. They are dry. I drink a gallon of water a day. Like, um, so I kind of get it. I think if we weren't in COVID, I think we would probably be like, there's no way we would go back. But I also kind of think it's smart release because since we are where we are, most of us are wearing a mask and taking it on and off. And like, I know for me, I won't wear an actual lipstick underneath a mask. I just don't want it to transfer everywhere. So there is, there is that. Um, but the packaging is really cute. I will say like the color selection, that kind of stuff was really hard to choose. Um, I felt like the people doing swatches at first were just not my skin tone. So you just, you never know how these are going to look. Most of them seemed like they were going to end up peachy, but then on my skin tone, I was like, I don't think they're going to be that peachy. Um, so that's why I was just like, you know, I'd rather just wait for it to come to Ulta than spend like a crazy amount of money. And lips for me, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I either love them or hate them. Like I'm not an in-between. I'm never like, I'm okay about this lip color, so I'll wear it. I'm usually like, I have to really like it unless I mix it with something. So I did, we're going to start with Ojai which I know for sure this is going to be a shade that is too light on its own. I want to make it work with a lip liner or, you know, I don't mind just doing a liquid, like a lip liner and then just dabbing a little, little bit in the center. So I knew what I was getting into with this shade and it's not going to look great without a lip liner. But I'm a sucker for like pinky nudes for sure. Like that's, that's definitely my favorite. I'm not like a I don't want one that's like super close to my skin tone. Everyone has their preferences, you know? I do smell a little bit of the vanilla. It's not like, yeah, it's not overpowering by any means. I should stop talking. But even with this, I still, like, yes, I look insane right now, but I still feel like I could get away with this with a lip liner. Like, like I said, I like pinky shades. Oh my gosh, I almost knocked it over. And I like the bottle. I like the packaging, actually. I think this is really cute. Um, so here's the, I'm always like component. Um, but yeah, I, I do like it. It doesn't look like the most amount of product, but I can't tell you last time I went through a liquid lip product. So there is that. I kind of wish she would have gone back to releasing her original nudes collection. I really loved the shades in that. Um, obviously I had a lot of problems, but I hope that she she goes back to those because for me, that range was just so much more up my alley than this one. And maybe that's also cause like, it's just harder. Liquid lips dry down different colors, you know, like they're just, they're more difficult in general. <laughs> um, but yes, this is without the lip liner. Okay, I did go ahead and blend out a lip liner with it. And like I said, I like this type of shade on me, so I don't have a problem with it. it looks crazy on its own, but I'm good here. So. Just so you know, this is what it looks like. I will say it does dry down fairly fast. Like I don't, I don't find it transferring, but I will do the other colors and I'll kind of zoom you guys in and we'll also go outside so you guys can like really see everything. It's, it's just that average like liquid lip wear. Can you see all my lines? Yes. Is it horrible? No. And it feels comfortable. So on to the next shade. All right. The next shade I'm going to go in with is Be Brave. So I have Be Brave. I think I got Truth. I'm a little nervous about that one since everyone's like, it's a little bit thicker, so we'll, we will see. But um, like I said, I like more of these. Not that I don't have a lot of orangey tones. Like I do like those on my skin tone, 
but I prefer more on the pinkier ones, if I'm being completely honest. Those are, those are probably my favorite. So this is Be Brave. Definitely much deeper than Ojai. Like this is a, I really like this shade actually. I'm happy with this one for sure. Ooh, yes. This one I could definitely use a lip liner, but I don't feel like I have to use a lip liner. Like this one fits perfectly with like my skin tone in terms of like not being one I need one with. So it just kind of depends on like you. I generally use a lip liner though. That's just how I am. But believe me, I have a million browns. So that was my thing with like ordering. I just felt like there were so many and not to say that I, I wouldn't love more, but I wanted to see them in person. So they are supposed to be coming to Ulta in May. And I was like, I'll wait for that because lip liners are one of those things. If if it's a really good formula, I think it's worth the price. But there's also ones where I'm like, the KKW ones, Kylie lip, like, I'm sorry, but like, I love their lip liners. Like, I think that they have a really wide range of browns and I always gravitate towards them. So, and then my more expensive ones, I'm like, my Pat McGrath ones, those are very expensive, but I think they are worth it. So I, I go in between, like where I'm just like, these are on the higher end at $18. Like. That's not, that's not cheap by any means. So let's see how this is what it looks like. Um, and then this is the shade bourbon. So, and it is that kind of like, it's definitely brown, but like a little bit of like almost like a mauve shade in there as well. So it's not just pure brown, which is what I wanted. I wanted something different if I was gonna spend the money, you know? Okay, love this combination. I think this is a really good like universal lip liner. It doesn't lean too much like, cause I felt like a lot of them almost were either brown or they lean more towards like Max Spice, which I have, um, or like chicory, like something with a little bit of like that reddish tone in there. So that's, yeah, that's why I was like, I'll get this one. I would love to look at the pinks, like the cupcake shade, but to be honest, like those never look the best on me, like in terms of like lip liners being that light. So I'm gonna come in. So you guys can really see. I'm gonna turn down the lights all the way. And you guys can just see what I mean. Like, it's not bad, but you can see like every little, little line of my lips. And I just wanna really quickly mention like, in terms of the packaging of the lip liner, it's not like the best looking, you know what I mean? Like I have, right next to it, I have a Morphe Sweet Tea, which is what I use to like outline Ojai. Um, but yeah, and these are like three bucks, so they're not the best in terms of like staying power, but I do love the, I, this is the only thing from Morphe that I'm ever like, I'll get more of those. Um, Cause I don't generally use it. And then like I have my Milk Cosmetics, but it's just kind of the same, you know, and then we got Max. So they're, they, it really doesn't like stand out in terms of packaging, which is fine, but I just thought I should mention, mention that. All right, and then we got Truth. I think if I were to order more, I really wanted Confident. I kind of wanted Krabby and then there's a few of like, absolutely, like a few of the orangey tones. All right, next shade up is Truth. And this is the one, like, I think it, I'm just hoping that it's not as dry as what the few people I watched said. But I can already tell like what they mean in terms of like, this is a little bit thicker. Like you can just tell on the wand. And the wand is very nice and small, by the way. Like it's, it's a good size wand. I don't want too big of a doe foot when it comes to lips because I ain't got big lips, you know? I feel like too, the, I used to want lip filler so bad until we kind of stopped using liquid lips. Did anyone else feel that way? Like it just, it wasn't a big like thing after that. Like I was like, oh, my lips look fine with lipstick. They just don't look great with dry lipstick, you know, like liquid lipstick. Okay, I can see what they mean. It is creamier and it feels, it just, it just feels thicker. But this is the one I'm gonna leave on for a while. So, no, it's not actually. I'm gonna go in with the bourbon lip liner all over so you guys can truly see the color. But this is again, like one where I feel like I can wear this with a lip liner or without if I wanted to. Definitely, I'm happy about it. I'm not upset about any of the shades I've gotten. So that makes me happy. Cause like I said, like it adds up fast. And I was just like, oh, you're only gonna get a few. That was, <laughs> that was the rules. All right, here it is with the bourbon lip liner. And then, like I said, I will just do a bourbon real quick and blend that out. So I do wanna see how this, 
Okay, that's a good sign. Like, that's what I'm looking for in a lip liner. Like, I want one that's gonna stay. If I'm gonna pay above the $12 mark, like, it needs to be one that's going to last for a while. And even just going like this, and I know if I were to run water over it, like, it's gonna be fine. So, to me, like, that justifies the price point. Everyone has their different, and I felt like it glided on super easy. It's not too, it's not too creamy, and it's not, like, too stiff to where you're just like, Wah. Okay, so here we have bourbon just on its own. I really, really like it just by itself. So I am gonna do swatches, like I said, I'm gonna do swatches outside and then I will do a close-up of my lips in a few hours to see how long this stayed. Um, but yes, I do, I do like the lip liner formula a lot so far. I will probably end up getting more, but like I said, I just wanted the option of, if I don't like something, I wanna be able to exchange it and I want a better idea of what it's gonna look like. So just skin tone wise, I was kind of like, oh, we'll see here and make sure I like the formula of everything after wearing it for multiple days. So I'm going to do oh high on top of this. And then, like I said, I will check in, but it is true. Thick was the weird thick truth was a little bit thicker. It wasn't to the point though, where I was like, ew, it was just a little bit different than the other ones, which kind of sucked because it was, I mean, it's, I think it's like one of the, the prettier shades for sure, but I'm really happy, like I said, with every shade I got. And then I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of, I believe this is Be Brave on the outside. I like that there's enough dry time to like layer if you want to. Um, but yeah, I don't have a lot of bad things to say. It's just more like, can I get back into this? You know, like I have more so realized like I'm like, I'm fine with the lines being in my lips. So it's not a big deal for me, but if you are worried about that or if you have like extremely dry lips, like, you know, you gotta kind of pick one of two evils type thing. Overall thoughts, I mean, like I said, it just has to be, you know, if you're if you're willing to try out a shade or not, like I said, I think I'll wait for Ulta to be able to use my points in order to buy like more shades and just the, that comfort of knowing that if I don't love something, I can exchange it for a different color, that type of thing, just because you know, nudes are very, everybody has their own like version of nudes. Like the nude I like is not an actual nude. It's like, I like light pinks, right? So it's not like skin tone matching necessarily. So everyone has different preferences. And like I said, I do like the range better from her original lipsticks without everything in it, you know, without the whole mess. But like those colors to me were just a lot more appealing where I wanted like so many of them. Whereas like these, I'm kind of like still on the fence, like, mm, do I, I don't know, type thing. So that that's kind of how I feel about it. I think for a few shades, great, you know, try it out, see what you think type thing. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this whole liquid lipstick thing. Are you guys like, I'm never going back or are you like, let's try it for the sake of being able to wear lipstick with a mask on, you know? So some of those masks are expensive. I'm like, I'm not gonna wear my fabric ones to get like lipstick all over it. Like, no, thank you. Um, but yes, you will see the lines going through, but I don't feel like this is drying any more than any other lipsticks that I have. So I don't have a lot to swatch because I don't own more like liquid lipsticks that like have not turned bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it wore for the few hours in the sun and show you swatches. Okay, so I wanted to do it now. We're outside on my on my patio, but it's just it's freaking cold. Like, what is going on? It was 87 this weekend. Why? Um, anyways, I'm not ready for the heat. I look like a hoot. Um, but we have to get ready to go to the gym. Anyways, though, this is what it looks like after it's been two and a half hours. And I've been drinking iced tea and uh, nibbled on some cantaloupe. So, my lungs. And I think it looks really good. I don't feel like it's... It looks the same as when I put on. So like I said, especially now that we're in natural lighting, like it's up to you. Like from here, you wouldn't be like, Ugh. and then up here, you're a little bit like, it looks like a liquid lipstick. So overall, I wouldn't say it's any more drying than any other liquid lipstick I've tried. And it's not like formula wise, it's exactly what I expected. And I think it'd be exactly what you would expect. So just going off that, like, like I said, it's staying on great no issues. I've washed my hands twice. I still have this lip liner on. And, and so I think if you were going to buy one, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Uh, shade wise though, I feel like these were the pinkier sections. Uh, Confident was another one that I wanted, but I just wanted to see if I liked the formula first. 
but here are the swatches in sunlight. So we have Oh Hi, Be Brave, and Truth, and then the lip liner in bourbon. But yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? Did you guys pick up any? Are you going to pick up any? I'd love to hear it down below. What was your favorite shade and what shade did you get? Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.